You're watching BTV. After 40 years as a successful gold explorer and developer, the CEO of Golterra still loves the mining business and can't turn away from a golden opportunity. In this case, it's the prolific Campbell Shear in the Yellowknife mining camp, including the former con mine. The mine is just part of a dominant district-scale land position that Golterra has assembled. One the company believes has a lot to offer. We have accumulated a property that is over 900 square kilometers, basically covering a strike length of 70 kilometers. By ourselves, we own 100% of the mineral tenure or mineral rights along the Campbell Shear. Campbell Shear is the plumbing system for that gold deposit that was mined from 1935 to 2003. 14 million ounces produced between 16 to 22 gram gold. That's a target. That's where you can find five million ounces more or 10 million ounces more. So when you look at our land position and you look at the potential of being the only explorer in the area, it's tremendous. Gold Terra's immediate efforts are focused on the con mine, where it's reaping the benefits of existing infrastructure and an ideal location. There's a lot of benefits of being in Yellowknife. You're in town. You got 20,000 people where everybody goes home at night. You don't have to build a camp. You don't have to feed them. You don't have to transport them. That translates to operating costs. In addition to being well situated, Gold Terra's prospects are further enhanced by a seasoned management team with an impressive track record. I think when people invest in Gold Terra, they invest in people that can drive the process of finding gold developing gold, producing gold, creating job. So we're not just an, a grassroots exploration. We're an advanced exploration group with all the background to put it in production. I've built three mines. I know how to take a project from exploration all the way to production. I've done it. I was the founder of Detroit Gold. We went from IPO to production in six years. We found 30 million ounces when we worked Detour and uh, the company got sold for $5 billion. Today, Detour is the largest gold mine in Canada. Michael Gray, who's a partner with Agentis Capital and a geologist, sees a positive road ahead for Gold Terra. The reason we focused on Gold Terra was it's a brownfields and greenfields opportunity. It, it's an entire gold belt that's been uh, uh, put under one roof of a junior mining company with capable management, but it's got past production the second highest grade gold belt in Canada. And the property that Golterra has, has 6.1 million ounces of past production. That this is an opportunity you don't see very often in a junior mining company. We think we have one of the best story in Canada. Uh, it's high grade, it's sustainable, it's in town, it's cheap to operate, cheap to drill. Look, I put my own money in this project. I own 6.5 million share. Why is that? Because of the potential because the untested and un underexplored targets that there is. Gold Terra intends to have an updated resource following its deep drilling program that's currently in progress. A preliminary economic assessment is expected in 2024.